All right, first take, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another animal video. And today we're gonna be looking at my all bosses set sea glitches world record in 808. And I'm pretty proud of this time considering I've only been grinding the category for about, I think two to three days now. And yeah, I think I got it pretty well and I'm happy with the time. And now I'll be grinding FSG and such. So yeah, and look out for that and enjoy the video. Bro, easy clap. Hey guys, post commentary Emerald here, and today I'm gonna to be commentating over my brand new ABSSG world record, eight eight minutes and eight seconds. And to be honest, I'm pretty proud of this time. I already said this in the intro, so I'll just I don't know. I guess I'll say it again, but I'm pretty proud of the time. And I don't know how long it'll stand for. I know there's a lot of uh, people grinding the category, such as Faro and other people. So I don't know how long it'll last, but world records, world records. So we take those. And yeah, we're just starting the run here. Uh, I don't know why I'm pausing. Probably because I was, I think I was maybe joining my class. Oh no, I joined my class later actually. <laughs> I was to be running during school. I don't want to talk about it. So we're going to come here and uh, break into this buried treasure and get all everything but the diamonds because the diamonds are useless. And we're going to do some nice movement here with the sand, place the TNT in the pressure plate, and loot the second buried treasure and grab all the contents with the side. And now we're just going to pick up all the resources here, such as sand and dirt and the wood, which is probably the most important part. Now we're gonna make our way over to where we're gonna do all our crafting and uh, get our flints. And then right next to here is actually where we're gonna enter the nether. So here I place a pressure plate and then I place the TNT right on top of the pressure plate, which uh, makes it to where the TNT can explode and create an air block. And here I horribly scuff my crafting after no lifting crafting for like a week. So good job me. We're gonna craft the basics such as, uh, not really basics, but I guess basics for this speedrun, such as some gold tools and uh, iron chest plate and stuff like that. And we're gonna break this kelp and we're gonna fall into the ravine. I do a nice water bucket clutch. Normally I'm able to land on that stone ledge, but I missed it a little and I just clutched in the lava and it worked. So now we're building this portal and crafting flint, two flint seals because why not? And I think I'll chuck one out here. No, I'm not because I'm bad at the game. And normally I'm able to enter around 115, which I think I actually did. I think I was, I think my real time is around 10 seconds behind. I think it's pretty reasonable. Here my inventory management's pretty garbage, but yeah, who cares? I think this run's actually pretty scuffed compared to my other runs. So yeah, that's fantastic that I pee beat on this. So what we did there was I uh, exploded the TNT to get all the gold blocks and I uh, exploded the chest at the same time without any pig piglins angering me because of the button. And there I almost got sniped by a skeleton. That's kind of uh, scary. Oh, I did get sniped. Interesting. So now we're just kind of parkouring up here. I mind the stair because, I mean, I thought it would be useful, but I kind of forgot to use it. So yeah, it's whatever. Not really a big time loss. And now we're going to break this chest, which has 12 obsidian in it. And that's kind of the main reason. And here I don't walk off there and walk down here and get hit by this piglin. Twice, actually, like an idiot. So, good job, me. Breaking the second chest to anger the set of piglins right there. And I'm going to be placing a chest here. And the second gravel I place is normally where I wanted to place the staircase. But I kind of misclicked, so it's whatever. And now we got all our piglins in this hole. And we're just going to be waiting on a piece of fire res, which I don't... I think I get kind of quickly. I think in the meantime, I uh, want to organize my inventory and such. And I actually get boots, which is really useful. Okay, I don't organize my inventory. I just get the fire res immediately. And we're off here to uh, kill whatever withers are here. And I think I get quite a lot. I think I get around five. And that's pretty nice. Normally, I, you either get like one or you get like ten. And, you know, five's a nice rather number to get. I'm so sorry. I cannot speak right now. I haven't done commentary in quite a while. And here, I'm going to get my first skull from that lad. What a, what a nice what a nice guy. So now we're 1 for 5, which are actually pretty good rates. Normally it's like 1 in 20 technically because the uh, odds of eating a skull are 5.5% 5 5 with uh, looting 3. So now I just hop in this piglin hole and I have all my stuff. I'm a little low on pearls, but 14 is manageable because you only need 11 to enter the end. And preferably you just like want others. There I drink a fire res and then immediately try to splash myself with fire res. So now that was a really smart decision. And I replaced Soul Speed 2 boots with Soul Speed 3 because, I don't know, the FB is just kind of, I don't know, I'm not a fan. And here I pull up and there's like 10 Wither Skeletons. I'm just like, okay, that's pretty nice. And here I also misplaced my blocks, so they're just kind of like, I don't know, I'm surprised I didn't like pathfind properly. Here I actually get, here's a little scary, I actually almost die here. Because I get jumped by like so many Wither Skeletons. And this person drops another skull and another Wither Skeleton come here, comes here and jumps me. And I'm just kind of chilling on three hearts, and it's just like, okay, let's not die. This one's pretty good. I have two skulls. And here, this guy's not going to drop. And here, I'm debating on whether I should go back or, like, make my way further into the fortress. And I just thought, okay, I'll just go back because there's probably enough with the skeletons here. 
normally if there's like so the way like ABSSG works especially with killing withers is there's like these certain areas like that are like closer to the bastion have more wither skeletons because like i guess they're loaded within the 5rd and that's my third skull and now i'm out i'm actually i think this run was three for 15 and i had all my skulls at three like or 430 which is really fantastic i've had to run faster but we don't talk about it so now we're just making my way over to the blind courts to travel right into the portal room and obviously it's like pretty nice portal room blind is always super convenient and yeah I, I cranked the 16 rd again because i no longer need these wither skeletons and now i'm just running considering i can't throw pearls i probably could have saved time here if i could have thrown pearls but i wanted to keep 13 so i can throw one in the end and you know one for the perch it's just really convenient and now we're making our way over to this blind spot which will be a bridge off this ledge and i see a skeleton here and i decided to kill it just in case because one time i had a run get here and i got shot off by a skeleton a skeleton a skelly and that was really unfortunate. And here I'm going to be bridging out with my dirt. And I do not know why. I still have soul speed effect. It's really weird. I don't know why it does that. But once I unshift it, like, fix it to self. So hopefully that's, like, not a glitch or anything. And my run doesn't get rejected. So, yeah. Now we're blinding in the portal room at 537. Not really 537. It's actually, wow, 529. It's pretty good. I didn't realize that. So I paused for a little bit. I think it was, like, to put my headphones on or something. Because, again, I was, like, in class. Maybe. I don't know. So I kind of just started donawalling my teacher, so that was pretty funny. And now we're just purling over to the middle. We got our three schools, and I'm going to set up the one cycle. So around this point is where I'm like, okay, this one's pretty good. I had a 540N entry, which is a world record pace by, I think, a minute? Almost a minute. So I'm just like, okay, hopefully we hopefully we get the dragon perch. I was kind of praying here. Mining out the correct blocks, because I think I used to just not do the correct blocks. Like, I would do it way too far, and the where they would just kind of fly up and uh, drop me. So that was kind of scary. And now I'm going to be crafting my stuff, crafting the crafting table, crafting my wool, crafting my beds, and all that good stuff. And I got five beds, so I'm very comfortable. I also go back and pick up the wood there because I will need it for a boat later. It's just like, you never know. I'm probably not going to hire a little dolphin, so who cares. And I think around this time is when I will unmute. No, I don't unmute, so I'll just do a little more commentary. I, comment I, start I think I unmute once I uh, kill the wither. And yeah, I wish you could hear my reaction for when it perched because I think it was a good reaction and it's actually going to perch right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one cycle and it should have been a four bed. I'm bad at the game. Let's go to the commentary. Oh my god, let's go! 808, hell yeah, dude. Not sub 8, but I'll take that, dude. I do not care. I'm done with this category. Oh my god, I had my mic muted when I the dragon perch, so there goes my reaction, but... Hell yeah, dude. Alright, I'm done with this category. I'm happy with that time. <laughs> yeah, wow, okay. It's probably slash seed and stuff. Slash seed. Um, what else do I need? Uh, probably data pack list. I don't know. Vanilla built in. I'm not dying. Um, I don't know what else I do. Settings. I don't know what I do here. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Boom. World record. 808. We take those, dude. 